Well, this month we've been doing our very best to fill up your calendar with amazing family friendly events happening right here in Denver. Well, I've got another one for you, so get ready. Here to tell us about summer art markets coming to Larimer Square and Rhino is Gertie Harris and Connor Holmes, the co-founders of Fireside at Five, the group curator that puts on these art shows. Hello, good morning, Hello. you two. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Okay, Connor, let's start with you. What is Fireside at Five and what kind of summer art markets are you doing yeah. this summer? So Fireside at Five is a community-centric um, marketing, branding, and events agency. We work primarily with hospitality groups and local developers to really help them put on you know, community-centric events and really make sure they connect with our local community and environment. Yeah. Um, we're really excited to put on a bunch of summer art markets this summer at Larimer Square and Rhino Art District. Um, it's going to be a really great summer full of art vendors and live music. It's going to be a ton of fun. Yeah. Love that it's at Larimer, if not Rhino, also another great area for art. Okay, Gertie, what can we expect at the next market? Yeah, so our next market is with Rhino Art District on uh -huh. July 15th. We are going to be hosting it at Rhino Art Park. We've got 30 plus art vendors coming out for that event. Um, we've got live music, DIY screen printing, crazy golf, you name it, we've got it. It's okay. going to be a beautiful <laughs> activation. And um, yeah, the one following is going to be August 26th after that. Okay, what's well, crazy golf? <laughs> crazy golf, oh my God. So <laughs> we have been working with two bees um, industries and they are creating this awesome mini golf course. And it's all DIY, so basically you can move it around, play, whole family can participate, um, but it's all created out of just oddity objects and, oh, and it's very fun, fun and creative. So. Maybe through crazy golf, I'll start doing better at yes, golf. Right? Yes, yes, <laughs> no, exactly. Get that okay, pen. when will the Larimer Square Summer Art Markets be happening? Yeah, so Larimer Square, our next one is going to be July 23rd, which is okay. going to coincide with Taste of Mexico, um, a 40th celebration, 40th anniversary celebration of our sister city relationship with Cuernavaca. I don't even yeah. know if you knew we had I, a sister city in Mexico. I did but know we do. It, it, Cuernavaca, yes. Yes, exactly. Um, and so that is going to be July 23rd, and then the next one will be August 27th. So, I love this. Yes. And I, as a matter of fact, I was just reading about, is it Taste of Mexico? That's yes, what it's called over at IPO Larimer. That's yes. going to be a ton of fun. So happy you guys are collaborating with them. Is it difficult to find good local vendors or are these vendors usually really excited to jump on board? No, it's, we are very fortunate to live in a place like Colorado where we have so many talented artists yeah. and it's everyone's so enthusiastic and happy to jump in. And fortunately for us, we're able to put on these markets but not charge a vendor fee. So we have a ton of people who are just very talented and excited to come join us. That's huge, you guys. It's huge for the artists as well. Now, when Absolutely. people come out to these markets, can we purchase art and what kind of art are we going to see? Absolutely. I mean, anything ranging from incense to beadwork to, you know, gorgeous, gorgeous big posters, something even along the lines of this. Uh, Johnny Draco, actually a local artist, created mm -hmm. this print for us for Rhino Art Market. Um, and, and I mean, there's a ton of variety. We've got vintage vendors that are going to be out, pottery, all of that kind of good stuff. So tons available for you guys to purchase shop yeah. local support local community members yes totally for that let's shop local and support all our artists right here in Colorado now what else does fireside at five have going on for the rest of the summer we have a lot coming up we are going to be doing two big openings one emerald eye which is the newest cocktail bar opening on larimer square on july 20th so save the date for that grand opening yes um, as well as yardbird which is opening in rhino art district and that is a 50 eggs hospitality concept so those are two big restaurant openings and bar openings we're doing in addition we've got a fitness on the square series that we're running with sweatnet it's a fabulous group in denver um, they've been putting these activations on with us on larimer square and then on top of that as i mentioned Taste of Mexico, our big three-day festival that we're being that we're going to be hosting, um, and then we move into September. We've got a beautiful Dairy Block Dines event that we're going to be hosting in the middle of the alley with a long table, oh tons of chefs, goodness. beverage partners. It's going to be a busy summer. We're you guys excited. are really busy. <laughs> yes, but all fantastic events. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for all of these. Okay, once again, the next market is when and what time does it kick off? Saturday, July fifteenth at Rhino Art Park, um, and that is going to be twelve to. 4 p.m. 12 to 4 p.m. What's the best way to connect with you guys and all those events that you just listed? Yeah, so follow us on Instagram. Fireside at 5 um, is our handle as well as fireside at 5.com has all of our updated events. Okay, so Fireside nice. at 5. Thank you both so much for being yeah, with us you. this you. morning. Good yeah, to pleasure to have you. Thanks. And make sure you mark your calendar and check our Fireside at 5's summer art shows in Rhino and Larimer Square. The next one you can attend will be at Rhino on Saturday, July 15th from noon to 4 
For more info, head to firesideat5.com.